Hi friends, today we'll unbox two Nandroids of Kamado Nezuko from the anime series Demon Slayer and compare her real Nandroid to her fake Nandroid. If you want to know the difference, then keep on watching. Quickly before we begin, I'd like to thank both Ndot and 219 Soham Molik. I hope I got your names right. Thank you so much for this idea and for pushing me to do this fake Nandroid and real Nandroid comparison of Kamado Nezuko. Anyway, let's get into it. I will show you the comparisons in order. First will be the box details. You will see the difference from inside out of the box and the plastic blisters of both Nandroids. Second will be the comparison of the parts. From the main body, the face plates, the extra accessories up to the base. Third will be the articulation. We will see how their joints would work for us. Fourth will be the price difference. And lastly, the overall Nandroid details and my final thoughts. We will try and compare the paint, sculpt, and so on. Do tell me in the comments below if I miss any details so I could take note and add it if ever I make another comparison like this in the future. Let's begin with the top of the box. This is pretty easy to tell actually. The real Android's box has tons of details on it and has more eye-popping colors. The one below is the fake Nezuko Android and as you can see it looks cheap and the only details aside from the sample photo is her Android number and her name. This is the bottom of the box and it basically has the same details as the top. The real Nezuko Android having lots of details and the fake only having the number the name and the sample photo. It doesn't even have a barcode printed at the bottom. One thing I noticed though is that the sample photo of the fake Nandroid has a shadow behind it while the real doesn't have that. This is not the same for all bootleg Nandroids I guess because the one Tanjiro Nandroid I made a video of was not like this. This is the right side of the box. Right away you could identify the difference. The fake Kamado Nezuko Nandroid is taller than the real one. They also have different sample photos and the color or the font used for Nezuko's name is pink while it's white with the real Nezuko Android. I believe this is one of the companies who make fakes that wasn't able to transition yet. Unlike the fake Tanjiro that I bought, its box details almost copied everything from the original while this fake Nandroid stayed the same and copied the format of an old Nandroid box. Now this is the back part. Like I said, the fake Nezuko Android is taller or has a bigger box than the original. As we take a closer look, we find a lot of difference. First, the original has a white colored sticker with a choking hazard warning, while the fake does not. Then the box behind that white sticker has a red upper part, while the fake one's color is sort of light blue. Also, there is no box with notice on the right side of the fake Nandroid. As you can see, the real Nezuko Nandroid has a box next to the sticker and I honestly don't know what it says, but you will just have to look for this on Nezuko Nandroid boxes and if it does not have this printed at the back, then it's probably fake. The bootleg successfully copied the attention and the advertisement and the warning signs or notices though, but in larger font size. On the lower part of the fake Nandroids box, we cannot see the Guzma company logo as well. Also notice that the box of the real Nezuko Nandroid has some sort of pattern printed on it. Some kind of maze looking print? Well, the box of the fake Nezuko Nandroid looks dry or matte and doesn't have any printed designs. Let's turn to the left side of the box. Same difference with the right side. The fake Nandroid being taller and the format is like the old Nandroid boxes. They also have different photo samples. Now this is the front and boy they make this easy. <laughs> the original Android of Kamado Nezuko has a lot of things going on. There's the logo of the anime series and Gutsuma Company at the most top and then there are more details at the bottom. Also her Android number and her name printed on the window are both colored pink while the fake Nezuko Android's number is colored black and there is no name printed on the window. Notice that the sample photo used up front by the real Nezuko Android is from head to torso while the Nezuko sample photo used by the fake is just the head. Again, I tried putting an old Nandroid beside the fake Nezuko Nandroid's box and it's almost the same format up front too. The window is wide and there's a warning sign printed most right. You know, real Nandroids use round shaped tapes on all their Nandroid boxes. It's like that with all of my other anime figures as well. I hope you could see what I'm trying to say despite the glare. I'm sorry. Fake Nandroids on the other hand use the regular rectangle-ish tapes. I, I hope you could see this. You either purchase them sealed or like what I received, it's already opened. Let's open them up, starting with the fake Kamado Nezuko Nandroid. 
If you've been buying originals or even if you just bought one real Nandroid, you would notice that it's fake right away. Upon opening, you would probably notice how thin and flat the top of the plastic blister is. Also, there is no separate cardboard background inside the box of the fake Nandroid. The pink background is part of the overall box. The fake Nezuko Nandroid also has her Nandroid number printed inside the box which we will never see on the real Nezuko Nandroid or on other original Nandroids. Let's open the original Nandroid of Nezuko next. I'm cutting it open from the bottom by the way as I want the top of the box to stay in sort of brand new condition. As you can see, we are greeted by the manual as we open it. With the fake Nandroid, we didn't see any manual whatsoever. If you ever buy a Nezuko Nandroid though and you get a manual despite it feeling fake, just remember that real Nandroid manuals are always printed clear and darker than any fake manuals. Anyway, as we take out Nezuko, notice that the plastic blisters look way better than the blisters we saw earlier. Also, see here, the real Nezuko Nandroid has a separate pink background which all real Nandroids also have. I'm really sorry for the glare but please bear with me. This is what they look like side by side. And you could already see how the fake Nezuko Nandroid looks lacking and doesn't look authentic at all. The fake's blisters are clearer because it's thin. Also, the main body of the Nandroid has so little plastic wrapped around it. The real Nezuko Nandroid, on the other hand, has thicker, much safer plastic blisters. The fake Nandroid's plastic blisters are also taped around with a wide kind of tape. See, like I said, it's thinner. We could see everything right away and it does not look secure at all. There are no other plastic blisters, it's just this one. Like I said earlier, the original's plastic blisters are much thicker and sturdier. All sides are not covered with tapes either. There are two separate plastic blisters and they just, you know, fit perfectly all together. Upon opening, notice that the extra parts are all aligned and are kept in place by a white tape. The main Nandroid's body is covered by a clear thin plastic, the same as the extra faceplate, and the box where Nezuko lives isn't wrapped or secured by anything at all. It's also facing backwards. Now, the real Nandroid will always have a thick plastic separator between the product and the plastic blisters. Here we see the first plastic blister. There are only her main body which is still separated with small plastics, her box with no plastic or tape but is securely fit on the whole, her extra torso, lower part, and her extra faceplate. Listen, real Nandroids are always wrapped mindfully to avoid paint transfers. That's also one of the main difference they have with bootleg Nandroids. Take note of that when buying Nandroids, especially declared brand new ones. Here are their boxes side by side. They already differ in colors. The original is on the left side and it looks brown while the fake one is on the right side with a kind of reddish color. As you can see, the details of the original alone is superior and the details of the fake one just look so rushed. The supposedly lines on the wood materials are not emphasized with a darker color and the black paint on the linings are either messy or smudged. The box of the real Nezuko Nandroid could also be opened for more possible photo poses, while no matter how much force I apply on the box of the fake Nezuko Nandroid, it will really open. Wow, this is a really long video, I hope you're still there. <laughs> Let's compare her extra lower parts next by starting with the real Komodo Nezuko Nandroid. The color of the pink is close to her anime version though there are no black linings for the pattern on her outfit. Also, there are translucent acrylics poking above and below her sitting body part. The details on this extra part is basically the same. The extras of the fake Komodona Zikon Android, on the other hand, are painted with a brighter pink color. The standing lower part has a cream-colored acrylic or PVC poking out, while the one on a sitting position has a pink-painted PVC sticking only on the upper part. Let us do the face plates next. This is the standard face plate. As you can see, the fake Nezuko on the right side looks shinier somehow and smaller. Notice that the eye details also differ. This is the face plate of the real Nezuko Nandroid and the skin looks matte and smooth. The eyes are also light pink and the graduation of the darker pink on the outer part of the pupil going lighter pink on the iris looks nice and complements each other. Meanwhile, the faceplate of the fake already has some kind of scratch or defect. 
but the eyes on this fake faceplate I believe looks closer to the anime version. The pink colors on the iris are very bright and the colors are not very close hues, so the darker pink on the eyes really pops out. Let's compare the angry faceplates next. The fake is pretty obvious this time. Let's begin with the angry faceplate for the real Nezuko Android. Nothing much to say, it's the same as any real android, skin is smooth, clean eyes, and there are no messy paint whatsoever. The fake on the other hand doesn't have any suitable paint on the mouth. I don't have any other complaint aside from that and honestly, if not for that, I would have sort of preferred this one than the real one. Tell me in the comments below which faceplate do you honestly prefer. This is what it looks like without their faceplate. The head part almost looks the same, I guess. Though this part of the real Nezukon android is colored red while the fake one is colored black. This is where we will connect the bamboo muzzle later on, by the way. Notice that there is a smiley on the ball joint of the real Nezukon android as a mark of the good smile company while we don't see that on the fake's ball joint. These right here are the bangs or the front part of the head or hair whatever you call it. The one with two white ends or linings is the fake and the one on the left is for the real Komodo Nezuko Nandroid. These are their bamboo muzzles. The one on the right is a fake and has brighter but dry paint and the one on the left is the originals with better color and shading. It just looks better overall. The difference between their bases are pretty obvious too. The base for the real Android is bigger, has more holes, and is sort of frosted or matte. It also has prints which I can't read, except for the Made in China and Ufotable. The base for the bootleg Android on the other hand is very clear. It does not have any marks or prints whatsoever. Alright, hang in there. You need to watch this if you really want to know the difference between a real Nezukon Android and a fake Nezukon Android. We will now try and compare how good their articulations are. Let's assemble the fake Nandroid first. Smooth so far, but there are obvious gaps over the head no matter how hard I push. I'm really trying to put force here to lessen the gap so it would look clean and better. Let's do the real Kamado Nezuko Nandroid next. Assembly was of course smooth. I mean, it's an original. You can't expect it not to fit. <laughs> I really love how I don't need to break fingers and put too much effort on real Nandroids. Let me show you the articulation of the fake Nandroid first. The head is very movable due to the big ass ball joint on her neck and the huge gap between the head and the body. The arms are very stiff. It's like the joints are stuck or there's something stopping it from moving. As you can see, I try to move it up and down and when I let go, the arm does not stay from where I seize it. And it somehow goes back down without my help. The head has no problem moving side to side. The body can do slight side to side movements as well. Unfortunately, both feet can't do much. Her Howry has ball joints as well. This time it's a bit hard to move them. The real Nezuko Nandroid's head movements are unfortunately very limited. As you can see, it's having a hard time looking up and down. It can turn its head left to right, no problem. Arm movements are smooth too, though they're easily blocked by the long hair strands. Torso could also do slight side-to-side -side movements. Both feet could move slightly too. And just like the fake, she also has ball joints behind her howry. One thing 
you should also notice is that the muzzle on the fake Nezuko Nandroid does not really fit or at least align with her mouth. No matter how hard I push the muzzle in, it will always have a noticeable gap and the mouth will always be visible despite having the muzzle up front. The muzzle fits on the original though, which of course is not surprising. You could move it down a little bit away from the mouth, but as soon as you give it a little bit of push towards the mouth again, it just stays there. No gaps, which is of course perfect. Here we see both figures facing left, and it's pretty obvious which one is the fake Nezuko Nandroid. The one on the right has a messy sculpt, and there's a crack or an obvious gap between the hairs. Anyway, the hair of the fake looks bright red, while the real Nezuko's hair is orange-ish. The real Nezuko Nandroid on the left definitely looks better. The head also looks wider, and the paint job on her kimono and obi are neat. Exactly what you expect from an authentic Nandroid. Meanwhile, the bootleg Nezuko Nandroid's paint job is messy. The red and white squares does not even meet the ends of the obi, and the knot looks cheap and hurriedly done. The ribbons on the hair differ in color as well. It's white or paler on the fake from the right compared to the light pink on the real Nandroid from the left. This is what the back of the hair looks like. Again, the ends of the fake Nezuko is pretty saturated and it doesn't even look like it's supposed to connect with the black hair strands. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> See the difference? Even with very small details like this, the real androids will always do better. Just look at the small tied ribbons around her legs. God, this video is long. I don't even know if anybody is still with me at this point. But the fake Nezuko wears white panties and the real Nezuko Nandroid wears brown to black panties. Check your Nezuko Nandroid right now. What color is she wearing? I also noticed that one of the extra lower parts have discoloration. Now on the video, I don't think it's very noticeable, but when you see it in person, the right leg is painted cream or pale, while the left leg is more of a flesh or light orangey color. Yay, we're almost done. We're at the last part. Congratulations if you stayed with me until this part. I will flash few sample photos and leave it up to your decision if you would save weight and buy a real android or you would be satisfied with a fake android already. Also some of the poses might not be as accurate as the other ones since the head of the fake can't really hold up on some angles. Again, we are all entitled to our own opinion so if you think the fake looks good already and you prefer to buy it, I personally won't judge you. Everyone has their own preferences and the decision will always be up to you especially if it concerns money. Not everyone can afford a real android and in other countries there's an enormous gap between their prices. Also, before you bark at me for buying at least two fakes by now, I did this solely for comparison to help you see the difference of a real Nezuko Nandroid from a fake Nezuko Nandroid. I bet this video bored you to death, but I hope this video helped you somehow. If you see this as an informative video, I'd appreciate if you would leave a thumbs up, and if you are new to my channel, I upload anime figure related contents weekly, so don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any uploads in the future. Thank you so much for watching and sorry for the very long video. I really tried to cover as much difference as I could. I hope you're doing well and see you next weekend. Bye!